All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Exploring Environmental and Natural Resources. And today we're going to be discuss discussing a topic that you guys should have been talked and taught about in elementary school. And this is the three R's of environmental conservation. Basically, it is the what can humans do in order to be better humans and keep our environment running efficiently with less trash, less pollution, and more, well, help overall for everyone. So, guys, today we are talking about reducing, reusing, and recycling of waste. So this is going to be a very short lesson where I am also going to attach some other videos that I want you guys to watch later on this week to get a better visual of why reducing, reusing, and recycling is so vital to our overall work with interacting with our environment. So, let's talk about waste. We use a lot of trash, a lot of stuff in the United States. We use a ton of paper and plastic and all of these other things that some we can reduce the amount, some we can reuse the packaging, and others we have to recycle them for a different purpose, turn it into something else, or remake it all in general. So let's talk about what these definitions are, hit on some of the importance, and then you guys will be free to move on to some other things that I want you guys to entertain, read, and watch today. So what does it mean? What does it mean to reduce waste? Well, reduction means just to use fewer research resources, which means that you in turn reduce the amount of trash that you have. And we do this by potentially buying used products, by selecting products that are energy efficient, that use less power and less energy, and avoiding overly packaged goods because all we're going to do with the packaging is throw it away. So reduction really just comes down to just really using our brain and looking at the things. Do we need it? How can we get it in a, an effective and environmentally friendly way? And can we reduce the waste somehow? Okay. Second is what does it mean to reuse? Well, to reuse something means taking an item that might get thrown away or might get thrown to waste and using it again for a purpose other than its original use or allowing someone else to use it instead of just throwing it out. And so some examples of reusing resources are an old uh, t-shirt or an old shirt that can be cut and used as a cleaning rag using old envelopes that can become shopping lists or note, at just reusing that material so it doesn't have to become trash. And then trading old magazines, old CDs, old DVDs that people don't want anymore, and trading those to get things that you might want to use and have that, so that it just doesn't wind up in the garbage. And finally, what does it mean to recycle. So recycling is a process in which we process old and used items in order so that the raw material can be used to make new products. So some of the examples that we recycle regularly are paper, metal, and glass. And so these recycled materials are things that, well, have to be taken apart processed to develop a new product, such as recycling aluminum cans into aluminum sheet uh, that we use for cooking, such as um, waste paper and old newspaper being processed again and turned into print and copy paper, uh, uh, glass being melted down and turned into other types of glass containers that people might use more of. So 
Recycling requires a process. So let's review those differences really quickly so that you guys can remember, okay? Reducing just means using fewer resources. Reusing means applying a new use for an item, okay? Something that might be trash that gets life as something different. And then recycling is the processing of old items, getting those raw materials and making something brand new. So why is it important to reduce, reuse, and recycle? Well, it saves our natural resources. It keeps us from having to go back to the well from the original point and using those resources that we have. So it allows us to reuse like how we reuse water. We just put these in a recycling or a reducing or a uh, reuse scale so that we can hold on to natural resources more efficiently. It also helps us save energy because it takes power to burn, to bury, to do whatever with any of these wastes by keeping waste and certain gar materials out of the waste and out of the garbage. It helps save energy and effort so that we can apply that energy to more useful and more efficient processes. Also, it helps decrease pollution because keeping waste out of the uh, areas where waste can get collected helps reduce particle pollution, helps reduce chemical pollution, it helps, uh, helps reduce point source pollution because what we're doing is finding purposes for these items that we wouldn't necessarily uh, uh, to have around, turning them to something different and useful. And finally, it helps protect the environment because when we aren't, when we're conserving natural resources, when we're saving energy, when we're decreasing pollution, all three of those things are big helps in preserving and protecting our overall environment. So, guys, this is a really short video, I know, and it was on purpose because there are things that I want you to look at today that I'm going to show you and put up that is going to give you better examples than I could just by pulling pictures. I like having videos for you guys to be able to look at and give me feedback on. So uh, look for an assignment for today to complete that is watching a video and giving some reaction. Thank you guys and have a great day.